Nice work with those binoculars. Good job on that field survey. Good eye. Try another. Great answer. Sorry, be on the lookout for more. We're now in the heart of the Absaroka Range, where you can find the highest peaks in the park. We're now in the heart. Nice work with those binoculars. We're now in the heart of the. Look for white bark pine forests at higher elevations. The growing season is very short. Some of these pines are old, several hundred years old. Nice try, Ranger, but you made a mistake. Good try, but that's... That's right, Ranger. You know your stuff. Good eye. Try another. Oops. Try. Great answer. There are a few mammals, like pikas and mountain goats, who love life above the trees. But you'll never see a beaver here. Great! That's worth a badge! Good try, but that's not correct. Great answer! Nice work with those binoculars. Good job on that field survey. Good try. But Sorry. Sylvan Pass cuts right through the Absaroka Mountains, letting you get in and out the east end of the park. The pass also offers a good look at Top Notch Peak to the south and Hoyt Peak to the north. That's right, Ranger! Sorry! Good eye. Try another. Sorry. No, let's ident- Sorry. Sorry. No, let's ident- You know your stuff. Nice work with those binoculars. Keep trying on... Nice work with those binoculars. Alpine meadows are full of tiny little flowers, grasses, lichens, and mosses. Why is everything so small? 
Why aren't there any tall trees here? Oops. Great job, Ranger. No, let's... Sorry. Good try, but that's not... Great, that's worth a badge. Good try. Nice work with those... Sorry. Good try, but that... Great job, Ranger. The elevation at which you find the Alpine Life Zone depends on which side of a mountain you're on. It begins at a lower elevation on the north side of a mountain than on the south side. Great job, Ranger. Great answer. Great job, Ranger. Sorry. Good job on that field, sir. Sylvan Lake is 8,000 feet above sea level. The water's way too cold for swimming, but it's a great spot for a picnic and a short hike. Great job! Good try! Nice try, Ranger! That's right, Ranger! Sorry! Not very many birds thrive in alpine habitats, but you can usually see ravens and black rosy finches. And if you're lucky, you might spot a golden eagle. Nice work with those binoculars. Great! You just earned a badge! Hello there, Ranger. Can you help me with my research project? Yes! Good thinking! Way to go! Try again, Ranger. That's not right. Way to go!
sorry, that's not the right answer. Sorry, try again, Ranger. Excellent! Excellent work, Ranger! Well done, Ranger! Welcome, Ranger. Take a look at... You got it right. That wasn't quite right. Way to go! Yes, good thinking! Yes, good thinking! That wasn't quite right. Oops, that's not correct, Ranger. Cool! You got it right! Great work, Ranger! Super! We'll add a badge to the badge board!
Hi, Ranger. Could you give me some help with my research? Tough luck. Let's try another one. Well done, Ranger. Way to go! Good job, Ranger! I was thinking of something else. Cool! You got it right! Hi, we need your help answering visitors' questions. I heard a loud tapping sound in the woods. What was that? Great answer. Uh, are the buffalo tame? Tough luck. Try another question. When is the hunting season in the park? Good job! What tribes of Native Americans lived in the park? seemingly by European standards primitive but a very happy and um, uh, people that live certainly with some degree of harmony with their environment. These are tough questions. Which is one of the most dangerous plants? Good answer. Has anyone ever found any dinosaur fossils in the park?
Good job. Where can I see some mud pots? Sorry, let's go to another question. When was the last big earthquake? Good job. Exactly where is the Gardner River Canyon? Sorry, let's go to another question. Where is the Washburn Range? I was thinking of a different answer. Say, what's up on Specimen Ridge anyway? Nice work. You have a badge for this region. I'm trying to find the back basin. Where is it? Sorry, another visitor has a question. How can I get to Artist's Point? Oops, that's not right, Ranger. Does Old Faithful really go off every hour on the hour? Cool, you got it right. About how big is the park?
Oops, that's not right, Ranger. How much damage did the fire of 1988 do? Well, in this ecosystem, fire has always been a part of it. So it's, it's a part of the system. Now, its role in a national park could be argued, but if the national park's purpose is to maintain a system in as natural a, a way as possible, then uh, fire needs to be a part of that. Well, there were a number of fires in 1988. It was a very dry season, and uh, there were something like 50 fires that started that year. Well, because fire is a part of the whole system, I was thinking of a different answer. Can we go rock climbing in the park? These are tough questions. I heard someone talk about a caldera. What's that? The Earth is made up of layers. Within the layer called the mantle are hot spots of molten magma. A column of molten magma burns its way into the crust and creates a magma chamber. As the magma chamber grows, the rocks above begin to crack. The cracks get bigger and bigger until magma is forced to the surface in huge volcanic explosions. Clouds of ash and shattered rock fill the sky. Rivers of lava pour out of the cracks. The roof of the empty magma chamber collapses, creating a big round hole in the ground called a caldera. Over thousands of years, lava flows to the surface and hardens, slowly filling the caldera with volcanic rocks. Excellent. I was kind of curious. What do wolves eat? Nope. Try another question. Has there ever been an earthquake in the park? Sorry, another visitor has a question. How often are there forest fires in the park? The main cause of uh, visitors causing fires are leaving a campfire burning and it'll jump out of the fire ring. The main cause of uh, visitors causing fires are possibly sometimes they park their vehicles too close to the road and the mufflers will ignite the grass. Different situations, you'll have one person running a chainsaw, you'll have one person, two people digging line, you might have somebody running a pump, uh, spraying water. It, it all depends on the situation.
Sorry, let's go to another question. Can you tell me what a water hemlock is? But this water hemlock, if you eat just a couple of mouthfuls, that's it. And it's happened here in Yellowstone. Good answer. I'm going to be camping. How can I make sure that bears don't get my food? That's not the answer. Try another. Can I drive around the park in the winter? These are tough questions. I think I saw a fox. Are there any foxes in the park? Fantastic! Try another. What do pocket gophers eat? That's not the answer. Try another. Uh, how can you tell a black bear from a grizzly bear? These are tough questions. Can we see any bald eagles in Yellowstone? Fantastic! Try another. Uh, what do you feed the sandhill cranes? Super! We'll add a badge to the badge board. Uh, are the buffalo tame? You know your stuff. What tribes of Native Americans lived in the park? Good job. Where can I see some mud pots?
Good job. Exactly where is the Gardner River Canyon? You know your stuff. Where is the Washburn Range? I was thinking of a different answer. I'm trying to find the back basin. Where is it? That's not the answer. Try another. How can I get to Artist's Point? That's not the answer. Try another. About how big is the park? Great work. How much damage did the fire of 1988 do? That's not the answer. Try another. Can we go rock climbing in the park? Good try, but that's not quite right. I was kind of curious. What do wolves eat? Fantastic! You earned a new badge. What do pocket gophers eat? <laughs> 